Hey, what's up guys? So I have not done a video like this in like two years, I think. And my kit has changed a ton since then. My kit's changed a lot, even in the past six months or so. So I wanted to do a video to give you guys an update on what I have in my camera bag and also what my camera bag is now because I've also switched camera bags. And uh, I'll talk about all the stuff that I use, why I use it, how I feel about it, if I would suggest it. And also I will have links in the description below to any of the items if you are interested in getting them. Um, they're affiliate links, so if you buy the items through that link, at no extra cost to you, it will help to support this channel so that I can keep making videos for you guys. So I'm going to head into the other room again because I don't really have room in this space uh, as it is right now. I'm hopefully gonna be changing that soon. But for right now, I'm gonna head into the other room where I edit and walk you guys through my camera bag. All right, so this is the bag I use. It is the Low Pro Pro Tactic BP350AW2. Got it right on the first try. First of all, it has um, these little kind of pieces that you can clip things on. Um, so it comes with a few optional attachments. Um, there's this attachment, a tripod attachment, which I regularly keep on there. Um, I usually have my gorilla pod in here. This is not the gorilla pod I usually use. Uh, it's an old one that I used to use, but I'm using the one that I typically use right now. So I can't have it in the shot. So it comes with, like I said, the tripod attachment. It also comes with a water bottle attachment typically with camera bags, or at least a lot of camera bags, you either have one or the other. This one has the option for both, and you can take them both off if you don't want either one of them. It also came with a pouch that you can uh, attach onto this. Um, and just pretty much you can attach anything you want onto this, which is the really cool thing. Uh, also, Maverick has decided he wants to be in this shot too, so we'll see how long that lasts. All right, so this is probably the only time you'll see at least pretty close to exactly what I have in my bag because I'm gonna be using the two cameras that are in here right now to be filming. The only thing missing right now is I would typically have my Sigma 24 to 70 lens on the EOS R. All right, so on this side, uh, I have some accessories, just little, uh, you know, everyday things, lens cloth, lens pen, Memory cards, I actually only have two in here right now. I usually have, this is usually full. Extra batteries, just in case, never know. Right here, I have kind of batteries and chargers. This is a charger for um, my Rebel SL2. This is charger for my Beats headphones. And then a couple extra batteries for the SL2, just in case, you can never have enough batteries. Other than that, we also have in the back of this, my laptop pouch. So I have the cable, charging cable for uh, the MacBook Pro. And then of course, this is the 13 inch, fits in there without any problems. You could definitely fit the 15 inch in here as well, possibly the 16 inch, but uh, I don't have it, so I haven't tried it. So I can't say for sure. And again, some of the stuff that I typically keep in here, I am currently using uh, cameras and lenses, mics, but um, I have some stand-in stuff here and I'll tell you what would normally be there. Right here in this pocket, I have uh, a couple things. First of all, USB-C dock. This is from OWC, Otherworld Computing. Um, I would not recommend this one. They have a bigger one that um, I think has much better reviews than this one. This has been kind of disappointing, honestly. Um, when it works, it works well. Uh, it just decides not to work every now and then. I also have an external hard drive. Um, I always edit off of an external hard drive. This one particularly is an LSC rugged hard drive. So then right here in this pocket, a flash trigger. This is an old Canon flash trigger. I actually got this thing for free. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this flash trigger either, but it works depending on how you're using it. It works for me and um, for free, you, you can't beat it, but I haven't been using it a lot. This next pocket here, a battery charger. Also in this pocket, I keep just one of these little lens cleaner blowy things. 
and a battery grip for my camera. I like the ability to have it, especially uh, in the future if I am to get RF lenses, which I hope to. Um, RF lenses, they are very big and heavy, and I think this will help uh, balance that weight. So I have it. I haven't used it a ton, but I have used it. Right here in this pocket, I do not have my Sigma 24 millimeter f1.4 lens, but that is what I usually have in this pocket. All right, and the next pocket, I also do not have my uh, Rebel SL2. This is just a charger for the battery that goes into the Rebel SL2. But typically in this pocket right here, I would have the Canon Rebel SL2 camera. I use that as a backup camera for a couple reasons. Um, number one is because it does photo and video relatively well. Um, I'm also really familiar with that camera. That was the first camera that I had. Also, the SL2 is really small, so I can get it in this little tiny pocket right here. Next up, I do not have the Canon EF 50 millimeter f1.8 in this pocket, which is typically what I have here. We have the charging block for the MacBook Pro right here in this pocket. The laptop pocket is a little too small for the MacBook and this charging block to be in there. But that is there in this pocket right here. I also have this little, like, I could open it and put something in this little pocket right here but it's really small, so I haven't figured out anything small enough to actually put in there yet. You gotta have a multi-tool in your bag, so keep one in the bag. So this is kind of hidden uh, because I haven't been going for it uh, very often, so I'm fine with it not being super easily accessible. This is the Canon 470EX AI flash. I think it's pretty versatile, and what I will typically do is use it in conjunction with this flash controller, use it as an external flash off camera somewhere, um, but what is also kind of cool about this, if uh, you use bounce flash, there's a fully automatic mode where you put it in fully automatic mode, um, the flash will measure the distance to the subject and the distance to the ceiling in the room and get the best angle to, or at least what it thinks is the best angle, uh, to get a good bounce flash shot. Um, completely by itself. In the semi-automatic mode, you set the bounce flash angle that you want, and uh, then you hit this kind of save button right here, and as you move your camera from landscape to vertical, it saves that angle, and the bounce, the flash head will move to that same angle um, when you double press the shutter, so it like is whirring around based on, you know, whether you're in uh, landscape or portrait. All right, then over here we have with the camera. First of all, I've been taking one of my uh, Rode Video Micros with me. I do have the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. It is a definitely like just objectively better mic, but it's also bigger. It takes up more room. Um, it's heavier. And the Video Micro is actually a really solid mic, um, especially for the size. Uh, it comes with a windshield. I don't have a windshield for the um, Pro Plus yet, which is kind of just, I need to get a windshield. Um, but I haven't done so yet. I have one for this. And this is really easy to just keep it right here with the camera so that I can access it really easily because uh, one thing that I actually didn't mention about this camera bag is that it has three quick access ports um, on the outside. It unzips from the back, but from the front, as three quick access points. The one I keep my camera in is the top one, and I can throw this video micro in here with the camera so I can get both. Now, if I'm doing something for work or something, uh, then I would definitely take the uh, Pro Plus with me. So that is here with the camera, which would normally not be this. This is my Canon 6D, the original 6D. What would typically be here is the EOS R, which I am filming on right now, but I do typically keep this Sigma 24 to 70 f 2.8 zoom lens on it uh, in this pocket right here. Uh, it's just a really versatile lens. I could vlog on it if I wanted to, because typically I would vlog on the Sigma 24 millimeter anyway, so it's, you know, that same um, focal length, so it would be 
you know, more or less just as wide. Not as fast, but 2.8 is certainly fast enough. It is super heavy though, so I, I don't vlog on it. For photos, it's definitely my go-to lens. All right, so that's my camera bag setup. I would love to know about your camera bag setup. So in the comments below, let me know what you are using, what you have in your camera bag. If you have something awesome that you found or that you use that I'm missing, or if you agree with what I have, or if you would do something different from my setup, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And you can also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified of all the videos that I make on this channel. Thanks guys.